Monsignor B. Theolis, the Bishop of Annecy, appointed Father Peter Mary Murmier as the spiritual director at Major Seminary in 1823. But in 1826, the bishop permitted Father Peter Mary Murmier to dedicate himself entirely to the mission. Gradually, a small group of missionaries were formed. Knowing Father Peter Mary Murmier as a holy man, a few diocesan priests expressed their desire to join the missionary venture. Encouraged by the support of priest friends, Father Murmier had the aspiration to begin a congregation. In the meantime, Father Murmier sensed the irreplaceable role of parish missions and the necessity of religious congregation of missionaries and the meaning of the patronage of St. Francis de Sales. Father Ray was appointed as the Bishop of Annecy in 1832. He allowed all the six missionaries to move to a house in La Roche in June 1834. On 29th September 1836, Bishop Joseph Ray gave provisional approval to their rule and from then they were known as missionaries. The civil approval for a new religious society from the Duke of Savoy came on 18th October 1838. It stated that they were approved under the title of St. Francis de Sales. On 24th October 1838, Bishop Joseph Ray issued official document and a canonical approval for the congregation of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales founded by Father Peter Mary Murmier. Thus, Father Murmier formed a band of missionaries from the diocesan priests of Annecy and animated them into a community with the rule of life. He wanted the missionaries to be committed, dynamic, daring, innovative, and responsive to the signs of times. He molded them after the example of the apostle of Chablis. With the providence of God and the sustaining power of the Holy Spirit and the encouraging accompaniment of Jesus, Father Peter Mary Murmier founded the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales. The Holy See gave approval for the congregation of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales on 19th March 1860. The reason for why Father Murmier founded the congregation of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales was for parish mission, for foreign mission, and the education of youth. Dear friends, in later presentation, let us know how the spirituality of the congregation of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales was developed after St. Francis de Sales by Father Murmier.